Well, most of us associate witches with Hollywood or TV shows, but here in Australia, the practice of witchcraft is thriving, and we've gone behind the scenes for a look. Believe it or not, witchcraft is well and truly alive in Australia, and it's bigger and more peaceful than you'd think. I'm a witch, I'm a witch, sort of classed as the local witch. <laughs> Put simply, witches worship nature. Stemming from paganism, they reckon that there are gods and goddesses that made the natural world and they create the earth cycles, like the tides and the seasons. Witches claim to channel the energy from these cycles in spells and magic to change bad stuff in their lives. Much of witchcraft is based upon the earth, the planet, the planet being literally the goddess herself. I guess our worship is really about taking care of her. Lucy Cavendish has been a witch for about 30 years. I had a really, really serious car accident when I was about nine years old. It was like a, literally a crack on the head that opened me up to a whole lot more. The kind of experiences I was having were, you know, seeing people who had passed, hearing voices that weren't actually attached to a human being. She turned to witchcraft in her 20s. After finishing her year and a day, which is like a witch degree, in the early 90s she set up a magazine dedicated to all things witchy. I wanted there to be an avenue for other people to explore too and I wanted it to kind of come out of the shadows and stop being secretive. Coming into the 1990s we had TV shows like Charmed, uh, and Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So what we saw was a spike in the growth of witchcraft in countries like Australia. Today, there are around 32,000 Aussies that identify as being pagan or practicing witchcraft. Most of those are women. People can claim they can call on the gods of the earth and mystical energies and do all sorts of things, but to really cast a spell, that's up there with unicorns. Witches are catalysts for change. They're not evil, they're not cackling, although we do like a good laugh every now and again. Stacey DeMarco runs nature retreats and workshops for people who want to improve their lives. She reckons all she has to do is call on the gods and their energy. They want a, a great relationship, they want more prosperity in their lives, they want, you know, a nice healthy, balanced body. And witchcraft is really good at helping people get those things, yeah. But the grandmother of all witches in Australia is Nandi O'Pridwin. Her witchery stems back five generations. The most commonly known phrase that sums it up is do what you will as long as you harm none. But for Nandi and her magic family, life hasn't always been easy living out of the broom closet. We were constantly getting death threats, um, egged, tomatoes on the doors. So are witches just misunderstood? And what about the cliches? Like, do they actually ride broomsticks? No, I don't ride a broomstick, but I do use a broomstick within ritual. Yes, I do have a broomstick. <laughs> do I ride on it? Well, you'll just have to look up in the sky tonight and see. And what about all that devil worship stuff? Witchcraft is not inverted Christianity, so I don't have anything to do with Satan. I wouldn't mind having a dance with the devil. He sounds like a pretty good dancer occasionally, I would think. But no, we don't do that, no. But if witches are real, beyond fairy tales and Monty Python sketches, not everyone is convinced. The Australian skeptics have a $100,000 prize to the first witch who can come along and prove that they have real magic spells. It's been around for millennia. We have always been, and we will always be. Oh. <laughs> hundred grand! Yeah. Hundred grand! Australian so skeptics are putting up a hundred grand if any, any witch can, can prove that their, their witchcraft works. Uh, presumably, the easiest way would be casting a spell to convince Australian skeptics that your witchcraft works. I'll tell you what, I work, I, they were all lovely people, and I've certainly they've cha I've, you've changed my mind on witches. I'm, I'm really? all for witches now. I'm good on them. I you're agree, right, Kizzy. You were you were you were ready to burn them at the stake before. Well, the show, I used, to, I used yeah. to use the term negatively, and I won't do that again. I like it. I think whatever floats your boat. I think it's interesting, and now I know what I'm getting. Charlie picking for Christmas a 12 month subscription to Witchcraft magazine. <laughs> Back of the net. I'm going to take a break. Back in the tick.